Hello everyone, in today's video, I'm going to review the Scepter fountain pen from Bennu, a company based in Russia. And this particular pen that I have is Scepter 7. So they use Roman numerals to differentiate between the different colors that are available. So let's see what we have here. The instruction guide, and we have the pen inside. I have reviewed several Bannu pens in the past and they are all very beautiful. Design of this pen is inspired by ceremonial or ornamental staffs or scepters that you see in ancient civilizations. You can see some scepters nowadays as well in movies such as uh, the one that Gandalf is holding in Lord of the Ring and the one from Loki in Avengers. So this particular pen, it's multifaceted. All sides are polished to a high gloss and the top as well. Fountain pen designs from Bannu are usually very flashy, such as the one here. The body is made of resin, the ring as well, and you can see all the sparkly bits beneath the surface. The sparkly particles inside, they have this very 3D volumetric look to them. The pen also has a spiral design on the side. So you see this side, it moves down and it's continuous from the top to the bottom of the pen. The logo is here at the bottom of the cap. All right, let's take a look at the nib. The pen uses a screw-on cap and that's a size 5 nib. This nib is available in extra fine, fine, medium and broad. And this particular one, this is a Schmidt Iridium Point. So the design on it, it looks nice and simple. That's the feet. And this is how the bottom looks. Under the Scepter series of pens, there is also another series called the Grand Scepter. The main difference is the size of the nib. The Grand Scepter uses a size 6 nib, so it's significantly larger compared to the size 5 nib. Oh, another difference is the Grand Scepter body is designed to glow in the dark. Price of the Scepter, it's US $88, and for the Grand Scepter, that's US $110 not inclusive of shipping. I will review this in a separate video. So let's take a look at the ink cartridge or converter. So when you order from Bannu, the pen will come with an ink cartridge which is not refillable. So I do recommend you spend the extra $5 to get the refillable ink converter. And this is the twist type ink converter. The pen can be fully disassembled so it's very easy to give this pen a thorough cleaning. So for this part, you just have to twist it and pull out the nib and the feet. Here's a closer look at the feet section. And this is the holder for the feet. Earlier on, I noticed some uh, misalignment with the feet and the nib. So since this can be disassembled fully, it's very easy for me to fix that. All right, let's fill this scepter with some ink. The ink converter is actually quite big, so this can hold a lot of ink. I actually tried to cap this on the back, but with this cap, it's not possible. So let's write. The nib that I have here, this is a fine nib. And it writes pretty smoothly. The paper that I'm using is fine green and I can feel the tactile feel of the paper surface. Let's see if the ink flow is good. I'm going to do a very quick sketch to test the ink flow. The nib is made of stainless steel, so there's no flux at all. The line width is always consistent. So it seems like the ink flow is actually 
quite good. Definitely no problems with ink flow. Design of this pen is very flashy. It's definitely going to get a lot of attention. And when you're writing or drawing, people are not going to pay attention to what you're writing. People are not going to pay attention to what's on the paper because they will be looking at the shiny pen. The pen also feels quite comfortable to hold. I mean, the body is quite thick and the grip section is much smaller, so it will take some time to get used to it, but it's comfortable. The writing and drawing performance from the nib is quite good and the design of this pen is very different from all the other fountain pens that I have seen from other brands. So if you are looking for a beautiful fountain pen that is quite flashy and attention grabbing, this could be something you can consider getting. And because of how the shiny particles are encased inside the pen, every pen is going to look unique. You can find this pen on Banu's website. The link will be in the video description below as well as the link to all the other Banu fountain pens that I have reviewed on my YouTube channel. Alright, see you guys in the next video. Bye!